Welcome back to BT. Have you pulled your kids out of school to go on a holiday? Our parenting expert, Gail Bell, now with what parents really need to consider before they do that. Good morning to you. Good morning. So this seems to be a trend I've noticed in it schools, is. that parents are pulling their kids out of school and away they go on vacation, but it really mm -hmm. shouldn't be that simple, should it, Gail? Well, it doesn't have to be complicated either, but I think parents need to get really clear on a few things. So, okay. And it's different. Are you pulling them out two days before uh, spring break because you're getting a better deal on flights are you right. pulling them out for a week yes for one of those week vacations or are you pulling them out for three months or six months or whatever so right. a how long yeah. and then be their age okay so we we know obviously it's way easier based on curriculum for kids at, you know in elementary school okay um, not saying there's not some responsibilities around that for sure junior high gets harder high school it's almost impossible. Right. The curriculum is coming at them so fast. It's and, so fast. Yeah, There's so much to take will fall in. behind if it's more than, you know, a couple of days. So, right. A, you need to think about that. So, okay. ages and stages. You need to say, why are we going? Right. And, and when you say have a conversation with the kids about why you're going. Yes, right? right. Yeah, for sure. So there's stuff to do before, during, and after. So before you need to decide. So I hear a lot of parents saying, but it's okay, we can go for a week because we're going to take all their work with them and we're going to do some schoolwork every day. And I'm like, hmm, really? Yes. And then they come back and they're like, oh, they, they, they just, anything. yeah, they yeah. fought. And, yeah. So don't say things you're not going to do. Because, okay. So be honest with yourself. Right. What is going to happen? So... Um, yes, talk, communicate with the teacher, that's fair. However, you cannot ask the teacher to supply you with work. It is not part of their job. Right. Okay. Yes. That's too much to put on them. That's yeah. too much to put on them. And you cannot ask them to help your child catch up after. Ah, that okay. is not their job. Right. Okay. You can ask what concepts are you doing in math, you know. And there's lots of resources out there. So obviously, sorry, but for me it's obviously read while you're gone, make sure your children have yes. a couple books. Oh, of course. Yes. Not tablet, but reading, books, yep. reading. Yes. And, you know, set that up. There's tons of games you can play. For sure. And then think about all the real life learning. So you go to a restaurant, you've got a child in grade five, you're like, and you're figuring out the tip today. Right. So 20% okay. or 15% right. or teachable whatever. Teachable moment right there. Are there are so many teachable moments. You're in a different city with an underground train system. Okay, look at the map. Where are we going? Are we going east? There's so many teachable moments. So if you are truly going on a family vacation, mm -hmm. it is an incredible opportunity to learn about the world, have conversations about it, connect with your child. That is not going to happen if you each have something in your pocket called a mobile device. Right. Okay. It's so you're way saying, too easy no. to look down. So the biggest thing parents have to do in this generation is set the clear expectations around the use of that mobile device. Because okay. you know it's going with you. It's mobile. Right, right. Okay, but have that expectation set out clear before mm. you even go about what that's going to look like you while you're go. on holiday. Now, remember, technology is not bad, but it's parents' use of phone too, right? right. So uh, what are you doing, parents? So if you are going as a family, it's an incredible time to communicate, connect, learn real-life things. Let your child check in at the airport. Right. Let them yeah. check themselves in. That is a real life skill. Yes. Let them talk to the immigration officer. Let them talk to the person in the restaurant and order their own food. Right. Let them figure out how much money they need to take four tickets to the next ride. There's so many real life learning things, but um, just be careful. And then you c could use technology. Sure. So I read some recent research that said kids don't know how to write proper emails. Oh. So you could email grandma and grandpa. So instead of consuming technology, use it as a tool and just set really clear limits around it and connect with your kid. Right, because that's what it should be if all about. If it's a about. family vacation. Right, use the opportunity to connect. Use the opportunity to Wonderful. connect. Wonderful. Gail, thank you so much for this. Great advice as always. We're going to go for a break here on BT. When we come back, more news, weather and the traffic. That's coming up next.